Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 75, three quarters of a century of Football Manager 19. Uh, we are currently with West Brom Albion uh, in our first season here. We have made the jump uh, last one or two episodes. It hadn't been very long. Uh, we were doing relatively badly. Uh, I, I think I referred to it last episode. Uh, all the red looked like a, a drive-by. But we finished off uh, with a 1-1 draw against Stoke on the road. That was good. Last episode, we shocked, shocked Arsenal 3-1. Uh, Nicholas Narte with a first-minute goal. Adrian Rabiot with an own goal in the fourth minute. And Donny Olmo with a 19th-minute goal. Sergey Guerra picked one up for Arsenal to make it 3-1. Um astounding win uh man you uh beat us two nil uh gomez and jesus uh, with uh, goals two minutes apart uh we were just outclassed uh we played bolton to a nil nil draw then we beat newcastle two to one uh maximilio coelho our striker two goals and they got one from rice murray uh in the 92nd minute and then we beat bristol city one nil uh, Ish Ch Ch Chikwuma. I'm still learning all the names and working out the pronunciations, so pff, bear with me. Um, I'll, maybe I'll make it a thing that when I sign players, it'll just have to be somebody that I can actually pronounce. So uh, that's what we've done since. Today we have Liverpool and Burnley, a pair of games at the Hawthorns. So taking a look, we uh, were 19th in the table when I took over. We are currently 13th, and we are five points clear of relegation. I think we actually qualify for avoiding a relegation battle at present time. Board confidence is 65%. And if we look at... Uh, da, 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 here we go. Board confidence. So competitions is 58. Matches, 75 Stature transfers. We haven't. We ha they're disappointed. We haven't done anything, right? Hello, uh, <laughs> but they're disappointed. I, I I don't know. The fans are satisfied. The board are somewhat disappointed. Satisfied, pleased. All right. So hold on. Let's go back. I don't remember exactly when I took over, but it wasn't that long ago, right? We had the Tom T. Derby last episode. I don't remember where we were at. Don't remember. But anyway, transfers. I mean, I bought in brought Bobby Brady. Here's a story about a man named Brady. Now, maybe if I would have signed Tom Brady instead of Bobby Brady. And we moved out loan. Okay, that was January 4th. So I guess maybe I was here for the whole transfer window. Sam Johnstone for almost $9 million. That's right. It was like right at the beginning of the uh, transfer window, was it not? I think West Ham might have been our first. Yes, because we won our first game. West Ham was my first game here. So, okay. I mean, I'm not sure why they're unhappy. Unless unless it's because I, I'm, I'm negative for spending money, right? Speaking of, how is he doing? Uh, four starts, two reserves, one assist, three yellows, a six six eight. He's not playing great, midfielder. Um, still, you know, he's not killing us. 
And uh, yeah, I don't, oh well, let's get to it. So we're playing Liverpool today. Ooh, they've won nine out of 11. One draw, one loss. We've had one win. Wow. All right. Quello's out with a twi twisted ankle. They've got three players out with injury. Uh, Mo Salah. Come on. Mo Salah, Van, Gre Van Gestel, and Rapina. I know who Salah is. I don't know either of the other two guys. Um, if you have followed me for... If you're new to the channel, let me give you some background. I have never, ever, ever played, to my knowledge, a premier level team that I can recall. If you go back on my channel and find one, it's an honest oversight. I don't recall ever playing with a premier level squad. I've been in the premier league uh, FM 17, I brought leads to the Premier League and we dominated uh, for many years. And then uh, I took that off camera to a personal save. Um, usually I start with lower clubs like this save. I started with Infield Town uh, and I usually end up going to a championship side or a League One side and then getting them promoted. So I've never played and I don't particularly follow the Premier League at all because I'm not a, I'm not a fan of any of the teams uh, and I don't follow them casually or anything else. So yeah, I just unless they play uh, unless they play international, which most of them do in the Premier League, but they have to play for either the U.S., England, Brazil, um, or or the Dutch. That, those are really the only four clubs that I follow. Naturally, I see Germany. I see Spain. So I recognize some of those names. Uh, I know the big names, Messi, Ronaldo, you know, um, some of the older names. But, you know, 10, 20 years in the past, I, I followed big time. Uh, but the modern Premier League, I, I just don't follow it. So... A lot of these names are going to mean nothing to me, which I kind of like because I can go in and not be biased towards anybody. I can look at the stats and say, to me, they're shit, or to me, they're really good, and I want to I want to get them on my club. But it's also another reason I like playing with the lower-level clubs because nobody knows those players. So anyway, uh, we are heavy underdogs in this one. So I just kind of wanted to give you, if you're a West Brom fan and just and, and tuning in, uh, welcome. If you're a Premier League fan and you said, hey, a West Brom save, welcome. I just wanted to let you know where I was coming from. So we started with Infield Town, which is like a league, like a seventh level, seventh or eighth level club that's club owned, you know, plays in a 2,000 seat stadium with like 500 actual seats the rest is standing room so anyway that's that's kind of where where i play my fm uh you know and i'm a leeds fan so so i know leeds very well um but you know that and so I, you know i do know a good bit about the championship you know not as much because again i don't watch any of the other clubs except for leeds so the only time i see the other clubs is when they play leeds so anyway that's where i come from uh, so let's go to team selection. We are at home. It's raining, and we should get our ass kicked. Um, this is a this is an interesting tactic. Why is Evans out? He's injured. A gashed leg in training. Two weeks. Oh shit! I didn't even notice that. Quello's out for two to four weeks, and Platt is out for three weeks Oof. okay um this is a tactic uh, i mentioned i i built in from uh, bust the net kind of watched a video he talked about the background so i kind of like the gameplay so i've recreated that uh best i could uh, i don't really have the players for it per se but I don't think it's my go-to tactic just yet. We are building on it, though. We've played it a lot. So if we look at the familiarity, we actually are now accomplished or fluid, and we've gotten to competent in the passing style. The passing style in that tactic, I think, is going to be the 
biggest thing. Um, this is a little, even though we, we play attacking, I think it's a little more defensive. But you know what? Screw it. I'm going to ride this tactic as, as much as I can. So let's go with uh, pick our team. All right. So we are missing a player. Wow. Okay. Um, that's not good. Let's go to uh, tactics. Let's go to squad. Let's go to goalkeeper. All right. Wow. I think Grabara, yeah, he's the one that I want in there. And Glover. Do I, do I not need a keeper? If I don't need a keeper, then we'll go that route. I do not need a keeper. Awesome. Uh, again, not having played Premier League, I've, there's still some rules I'm getting used to. Looks like, looks like, I just reckon, I just saw the name. So yeah, this is one of our Chinese, not, you coming up here to watch the game? Come on. Come on. All right. Well, uh, so that's my 18 year old left defender. Where's my other guy? He must not be back quite yet. Or is it? No, there he is, right? Right there. There he is. Yes, he is back. Hey. All right. So he, th those two guys are my, our Chinese nationals, 55 caps. Uh, he has not played since I took over the club. Uh, so, yeah, he, uh, well, till recently. Um, so yeah, so they're back, uh, just the first time I think on camera. So excellent. All right, let's go ahead and go with this. Let's go ahead and submit the team. Uh, da, da, da. yeah, we'll do that. Warm up. So we are we are just down to kind of bare bones for our side. Liverpool's in the red. We're in the blue and white prison garb. I hate <laughs> if you've watched any of my videos, I, I hate the the I hate stripes. Just I mean I have some stripes in this shirt, but the bottom is all solid. You coming up? Come on. Come watch some football with me here, man before you have to go away. Oh, Brown over the top. Oh, what a block. What a block by our backup keeper. Made himself big in the box. That was huge. That was huge. Chikwuma cuts it inside, lays it off to Hefty. Nardi. Shot. Oh, off the upright. Oh, well, the crossbar. Not the upright. Off the crossbar. The other upright. <laughs> Kovacic plays it deep to M Mane. I've heard of him. Oh, what the hell was that? That was a nice finish. That's what that was. Guys, take notes. That's how you actually finish a goal. That was crap. <laughs> All right, get creative. All right. Donnie, Nardi, cuts it back inside to Olmo. Oh, and he sails it. Oh, that was a good opportunity. Some decent ball movement. Decent ball movement. Oh, you know what? Uh, damn it, I hate when this happens. Uh, we don't want that. Actually, we just want to maybe extend this. Say two. And then over... And that's recent events. I don't like that. I don't usually have anything over here that I've got to do, but, you know, I do like to... Let's see, that's... 
Maybe focus of attacks? What's that one do? And eh, no. Player ratings. There's our body language. Match stats. Formations. Eh, fuck it. We'll leave it. I don't care. Uh, don't step on my keyboard. That'll upset me, Cap. Don't do that. Are we not going to have any highlights? Oh, here we go. <sighs> Jesus. Sorry about that. She just... Oh, hold on. She's she's choking. God dang it, Cap. Get out of there. Sorry about that. She caught her... Uh, she caught my headphones and... Uh, yep. A breakaway. Horrible. Oh! Man. All right. Yeah, she jumped down and she caught her neck in, in a set of my headphones and was choking. <laughs> so, sorry. Had to save her. All right. So, yeah, something looked like it might be happening. It came back on us. Uh, let's see. So, six to three. I'm happy. We've got possession. I'm happy. Two chances to one. I think we're hanging in there. We're not playing well, 6-6. Six, six. Uh, was it disappointing? Eh. All right, let's tell them that. They were, all right, we'll tell them that. Yeah, disappointing, damn it. Uh, let's see, striker. All right. Kickoff highlight. Boy, I, I feel like I'm off my game now with all that happening. It's like I missed 10 minutes of the game. All right, Nardi. Well, let's go ahead and make a sub. Mid center. Let's bring Bobby Brady on for him. Come on, boys. All right, Mane. Oh, should have been all over that ball. Somebody close down here, fellas. We're just going to let him drive half the field? Yeah, I guess so. Bollocks. That sucked. All right. Um... Nineteen years old, boy. His natural fitness is shit. Let's bring him on for Donny Olmo. Olmo's playing a six-eight, but we need to get him a, a little bit of a rest. That's about the deepest throw you can have in the game. Mane, Kaida, 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 Kovacic, Kovacic, Cook. Cook! I like he's my new favorite player. <laughs> oh, what a steal. Oh, what a horrible pass. What a steal. Come on. Brady. Brady. Squared. Squared again. Drives it inside. Takes a step. Drills it home. Oscar Melindo, number five on the season. That was a nice shot. Good on you, man. Good on you. All right, Lewis Cook. All right, I want to take a look. All right, so he's on for the for the duration. I don't have another striker to bring in. All right. Kunpang is uh is getting tired. Melindo. Melindo is dead on his feet. Mid center. All right, we'll bring let's see what Studholm look like. Not the paciest, but yeah, we'll bring Studholm on. All right, we're going to praise him because we're playing pretty well, 
right? I mean, yes, we're getting outshot. I didn't expect to win this match. <sighs> Throw it. Oh, my God. You stole it. Put it in. Yes. Chuck Wooma. Oh, my God. Oh, they were a man down, too. He was on the sideline. Who's that? Sosa. Thank you, Sosa. You get an assist on that, I'm sure. Oh, my goodness gracious. Just see it out. Hoof. Hoof it. Oh, look at that. He's facing the wrong way. He does a reverse scissor kick <laughs> halfway down the field. Two on target, two goals. One off. Oh, we would not have had that woodwork earlier. Good on chances. Good on possession. Passing, we're, we're right in there. Tackles were were good. Headers. Dude, I think I think the team's playing pretty well. And I'm happy I'm happy as hell with a draw. Excellent efforts. The locker room's coming into shape because I mean they're they're sixth in the table, right? I mean that's that's huge. All right, Hardy's out for a week and a half. Stud home. Uh, we're going to have to pay out 1.2 million. Ugh. He could do with a rest. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out. He just came back. He He's tired because China worked the hell out of him. Way to go, China. Always had concerns about their, you know, them pushing their people too hard. All right. One goal. Oh, look at that. 92% passing. I'm definitely happy with that, right? All right, we'll be back for Burnley here in just a second, guys. All right, so a few bits of news and notes from the end and beginning of the month. Uh, we picked up $14 million from Real Madrid for a transfer involving Matteo Genduzzi, just a guess. Uh, he play, He's played in 50 league game matches for Madrid. Uh, the board has uh, cut our transfer percentage to 30, and we made an $11 million profit for February, keeping in mind we brought in $14 million. So we actually lost um, $3 million, not counting the, the player. Uh, but anyway, moving on. So Burnley, we are uh, firm favorites, uh, but if we take a look, you know, this is the club that we have been – evenly matched with six draws between us uh three wins five losses so a club that over time uh we have uh just kind of been right in their wheelhouse other news uh leeds has sacked another manager i swear sports interactive must hate leeds united with a passion because i don't think i've ever had a league that I've done so far where uh, Marcelo Bielsa has not been fired at mid season or left the club in mid season. And I think they're, they've gone through, I think I was looking at it like seven managers uh, since the, you know, the league started since I started this save uh, crazy. So naturally if I was at a championship or lower level club, Leeds would be a club that I would love to take over um, I have actually never done that in, in a single save, even a journeyman, uh, the Leeds job just never came up. I was never approached. I applied for it once and was kind of laughed at. So, uh, anyway, not sure what they, what, how they're coded on what they're looking for, but, ah, uh, the joys of being a, a, a whites fan. Uh, anyway, let's get on to it. Uh, here, Team selection, firm favorites. I want to go ahead and stick with this, I think. So we're going to go, all right, I'm going to bring Grabara back in there. All right, Chikwuma. Tell you what, man, that 17 pace really helped him out last time, right? He's wanted by somebody. Interesting. Who's he wanted by? Lester. Well, 
He's valued at 51 million. Come and get him. I do like him though. He's got pretty decent finishing, but he's got really good physicals. Yeah. You're gonna have to pony up there, buddy. Uh let's see. Is this Oh, that's Danny Tierney. I was like, Tierney? That's a familiar name. Uh Sharp Mason Pot. We've got some young guys in this group. 18, 17. Oh my god, a bunch of our bunch of our reserves, it looks like. Uh, we are resting. We are resting him, Kun He needs a he needs a rest, but yeah, he needed a break here, coming out of the uh, international. He also uh, notified me that he knows that nobody made an offer that was at or above his release clause. So he was willing to wait until the next transfer window. So hopefully we can finish high enough in the table that he wants to continue to play for us. But, you know, we'll, you know, I think it's 61 million. I'll sell him for 61 million. Knock yourself out. Uh, let's see. Andy Vernon. Why is he not in our group here? Because people are stupid. Wow, everybody is on, everybody's defensive. Mid-defensive, mid-defensive, mid. Yeah, don't need you. So let's bring Andy Vernon on right there. Okay, I do want to filter out people that are unavailable. That would help me out a little bit. Steve Witt. I do like him. Why is he not in the group? Uh, Niambi, is he better? Yeah, okay. And he's our guy. But how about this guy, Meredith? Yeah, he's okay. He's a midfielder. But he's he's pretty shit. He ha he's he's even worse shit. Defensive center. All right, he can he can he can do the job. Yeah, no no no. This guy, yeah, what what the hell? Um Steve Witt. And yeah, this guy needs, he needs to be in my uh, defensive mid, defensive center, mid center, mid left, attacking mid, right left. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Don Juma. Put him in. Let me give... I'm thinking about giving him a start here, man. Let's rest Olmo. Olmo's been really good. But... I mean, he's been really good. Six goals in 22. Danks. Brady. All right, well, let's get to it. Can overthink it. But some of these guys are really good, and I don't know why my AI is not putting them in there. If you guys have any idea, let me know. I am going to check, but, I mean, I've checked my – there's only one thing that I put in for requirements, and it's that you have a 90% uh, physical readiness. I get, that way, if they get below 90 like my left back, the little Chinese left back, he was at 86. It, it shelves him for a game to let him rest up, and that's good. I think that's probably the best it needs, the lowest it needs to be. But anyway, all right, we're in the jail kits again. God, I think I'm going to make a self-imposed rule that I'll never play in stripes. All right. 
Oh, a shot from way downtown. Just wide. That was a little aggressive. Just saying. Alrighty. We've got the only shot attempt so far. Niambi headed out. Melindo. Brady drops it off. Kicks it into a crowd. That was pathetic. All right. Sets it back to Hefty. Nyambi. Back to Nyambi. <laughs> into Danks. Oh, there's a nice one into the striker. Played in. Oh, just wide by Brady again. Nice ball movement. Nice control. All right. All the highlight. Oh, nice little chest down by the Danks. Stepped over. Crossed. Played out. Just always playing it right into people, man. All right. Brady drives it inside. Another block. Uh, counter possibility. One on five. Uh, it, oh, the, the slide tackle pass. Grabara. Man, that would have been embarrassing to be five on one and lose. Well, six on one counting the keeper and still give up the goal. All right. Hey, hey, you guys calm down back there. Get a room. Yeah, you. Uh, too too heavy with the touch there. Bo, Bo, cut that out. <laughs> All right, playing it out of the back. All my animals are rescued, so they are all fixed. Nothing's happened. They're just playing. <laughs> I'm just... All right, Brady. Lumps it out to Donjuma. Lays it back to Target. Target. Alindo back to Target. Finds Dan Juma again. Plays it all the way back to Alvarez. Oh, he hoofs it. Don Juma controls it into Brady. Hefty over to Melindo. He drives it. Oh, my God. We missed that post three times now. Come on, boys. All right, Dan Juma. God damn it. Uh, concentrate. Yeah, you may be overwhelmed, but you guys are like screwing the pooch right now. Only one chance, but man, we should be dominating this match. Bo, cut it out. Gee whiz. Get me to halftime. I think we're going to make it. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's helped everybody by bringing the proceedings to a halt. Uh, tactics. I'm going to go there. Now, Hefty. Defensive right center. Niambi. 6'7", six, 6'6", six, 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 six. What's his defense look like? He's got a 12 jumping reach, 12, 14. Oh, I like him there. 12, 14, 15. Garcia. And, you know, no, we'll pull him off. Who can play number two? Well, let's see. He can play mid-center. Yeah? Yes, he can play. No, he can't. Mid center, Melindo. I can move you up. And so mid center, Walland. Actually, you know what? Let's bring Vernon on. Let's get Vernon some game time. All right, back to the pep talk. Uh, do it for the fans. Yeah, they don't give a shit. Players don't give a shit about the fans, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Pretty sure. I'm sure there's one or two, 
like in the world, but in general, I don't think they think about the fans very much. All right, Melindo up to Dinks, out to Niambi. Dinks squared to Vernon. Dinks crossed, volley, second volley. Arnott Donjuma, number three on the season, gives us the lead. Tactical geniuses. <laughs> We're going to praise. There we go. Skip. Get moving, boys. Get moving. Um, oh, that's what I need to look at. All right, knock down to Melindo. Danjuma crossed. Oh, just wide. All right, let's make a sub if we need to. All right, Melindo is tired. Uh, Donnie Olmo. Tell you what. Let's put... Uh, He can play attacking mid-center. Let's put him in there. And let's pause this because I want... That's body language. That's what I want right there. Okay. It's not that I need the rating again. I want the condition. All right. Let's get back to it. Now we're going to praise to fire them up. Uh-oh. Ooh, I don't know if my... I don't know that my keeper even moved. It's like he fell down. Um, is that our guy? Hello? No, that's not our guy. Okay, cancel. Thank you. All right, head it out. Garcia makes the run in. Brady finds Vernon. Danks. Shot. Chick Wooma, number seven. All right, let's go ahead and make a sub out here. How about Robbie Danks? Mid right. Um. I'm going to put Tierney on. He can play mid-left. It's kind of the same position, right? You know, can't kill you. We've got a 2-0 lead. That's excellent. So I've fallen a little behind on my recording just to kind of end the episode here. Um, I was I was sick as a dog. Oh, that's a nice shot. I was sick as a dog on, on Tuesday. I was up uh, about three hours north of where I live uh, working and... Man, just like got the heaves, felt like I was going to bark all over the place. And, I, you know, so I came home and, and just went to bed, fell asleep. Oh, there was a shot. Danger ball. All right. We've still got enough time to get another one. It would help with goal differential, but, oh, this would hurt goal differential. The counter. Oh, nice tackle. Tierney. Alvarez, back to target. Looks like Taggart, but to me, with the small print and my bad eyes. <laughs> we will take that. A solid 2-0 win, boys. 21-8. We really expanded on the shots. I like that. I, I think I may just have to move to that tactic, right? I like that other tactic, but maybe we need a, a full season and Look at this. We're up solid mid-table, boys. Minus four goal differential. That's the best of everybody below us. 34 points. Do we... No. Nah. We don't, we don't even dream about making top six, right? I mean, that's 15 points. Nah. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. But we drew with Arsenal. I mean, we beat Arsenal, drew with Liverpool. I mean, Tottenham and Man you kicked our ass. So not worried about that. We've just got to beat these teams kind of in our neck of the woods. And I think mid-table is, is where we're going to kind of set up shop, you know. Uh, let's see real quick. Tierney made his debut. 
All right, he is working on being a false nine. We picked up, uh, we paid out 1.2 million, which we just got 13 million, remember, and 14 million from Real Madrid. So it was some Spanish money, Spanish uh, bullion that we gave to uh, Bristol City to pay that deal. Uh, Stellar, God, he's he's been really good with the passing. Dude, you scored a goal, but your passing is awesome. Five matches unbeaten. Hello. Including Liverpool. All the rest of those are ones that we need to be winning. All right. So let's finish the day out. There we go. All right. So we are mid-table at 11th position. And we're near. Yeah, I mean, we're right at the. Okay. Scratch the scratch the idea that I even thought about making the top six because we're at the end of the season. I mean, we don't have enough matches to, I mean, mathematically we do, but realistically not a shot in hell. Um, let's come back for, I haven't played Manchester City or Chelsea yet. Hi, how are we doing? Come on, come on. There you go, Fred. So Fred is one that we've decided to keep if you knew that we were fostering some kittens. Uh, Fred is one of the two that we have decided to keep. So he will uh, be a regular appearer on uh, recordings. Uh, say hi. Stick your head up where they can see you. Say, hey, I'm Fred. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, I think we're going to come back for, God, do I want to come back for that? Nah, I don't, I don't feel obligated because we had the late seat. You know, we came in mid-season. So why don't we come back for Chelsea Wolves and then Brighton? Let's see, we've already, well, West Ham is just going to be luck of the draw because that's who we opened with. But they are the league finale. Uh, so I think we have to come back for that. Uh, so, yeah, we'll come back for Chelsea and Wolves. And then we'll come back for Brighton and West Ham. And uh, that way we have a couple of matches in between. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe if you don't mind. Uh, you know, and I will see you next time. Let me know if you have any suggestions or thoughts on the save. Uh, anything you're thinking about. Um, you know, do you like West Brom? Do you hate West Brom? Am I doing a decent job with West Brom? I'm going to tell you, I think I'm doing a bang up job with West Brom. I did finish second in the uh, uh, Premier Coaches Awards for uh, for February. But anyway, I'll play a couple off camera. We'll be back for Chelsea. We'll see you next episode. Have a good one, guys. Bye.